Hello guys, what's up? It's Chris Kelly Games as you can see here, and welcome back to my first Minecraft modding tutorial. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a custom skin pack for Minecraft Wii U edition. So, all you need is PCK Studio and some skins. You can just download your skin or make it by yourself. A link to a page on for your internet browser on the computer is in the description down below. So. All you have to download, so programs is just one program, PCK Studio, guys. So you can just open it or run as admin. You don't really have to run it as admin, so let's just go on file and open. Don't go on you guys, I don't know why, but on some computers it doesn't work. So, well, wherever you saved your um, PCK Studio folder, there will be and PCK Studio folder that makes sense. So I saved on my desktop and there it is. You go on templates but don't worry about these three things guys. I worked already on it and tried out some things, yes. So go on templates and there should be an untitled skin pack. So I worked already on it and rename it to f my first custom skin pack. So there it is. Skin, skin, cape. So the DLC cable will always be above your, your skin. So to make a skin, you have to right click the localization.log, go on create, and go on skin. Then you have the skin creator right here guys, so you click on server, if you don't, it won't work guys. I tried out, it will not work. So now you can select a texture for your skin. My textures are right here. So I take this one here, and now I will add him a cape, because I think with a cape the skins look a lot cooler. So, just go on Minecraft capes, take a cape whatever you want, so I take this one right here. I have it already here, but just to show you, so you go and create skin and you're done. You have your skin right here, and right above your skin you'll have the cape. So because I didn't give him a name, Go on display name, there will be nothing. You can just write something here, but I think it that won't do anything. So you can just change the entry type right here. But I really, I really would recommend you doing that, guys. So, and if you didn't give your skin a description, there won't be a theme name or something like that. And the tag cape path will be added when you make a cape. So, like, just like that. So, guys, just to show you, you can't even take any skin any picture for your skin you want. For example, this picture right here. Not a weighted skin file. So, or here, not the weighted cape file. So, you really have to download your skin and then you can t you can just take it as a texture. So guys, I show you now what I mean with so I just save the pack and go on my Microsoft Edge because I have Windows 10 S and that's why I'm using that. So you can just go on this page right here, down link in the description down below and just scroll down. Thank you. You can just take any skin you wanna have. For example, I would just look for a random skin, for example this guy here. Whatever skin you want, it's just to show you how it works. So, you go and save. Wait. And there you go. Right click it. Go and save image as. And then you can just give it the name. Any name you want to have. So, save it as a PNG. Press enter or click save. And it's done. Now, on wherever you saved it, I saved it right in my texture folder, it's right here. You can just take a look for your skin, and when you found it, it should look strange. Well, I don't find it, I don't know why, but I don't find it. Well, no matter, or is it right here? Yes, maybe it's right here, guys, but I don't really care now for that. So, you've seen how to get the skin, and that's all you should know about that today. 
So, yes, tomorrow I will show you how you can make some custom capes. You will need paint.net or any paint program you want. So I'm always using paint.net because I think it works best. So, I so guys, I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe or leave a like if you liked it. So, and I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Goodbye.